Well, acting is no, you know, I'm on, I'm on only the visual, and, you know, why are you saying my people? Like, we're hearing that nowadays, they're saying. Because they're trying to disassociate themselves from who they really are. As a race of people, at once, at once upon a time, it was all, it was all good to be an Edomite. Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to just disassociate. Why are you disassociating all of a sudden? Because all of the dirt is coming out of what you did. So, back in Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Yeah, man, because the, Lord, the, the day of the Lord is coming, cruel, cruel, with wrath and anger, man. Okay, because first of all, you've got the base of men in rulership, man. Okay. The, uh, the scripture says the earth, it's like a, uh, the heavens is his throne and the earth is his footstool, man. So right now the Lord's footstool is being governed by people that have no right of being there, man. Okay, and in the process, all right, the, the apple of the Lord's eye, which is Israel, starting with the elect on this side, all right, Esau has done, messed us up, man. Okay, so the Lord is coming with fierce anger. That's right. You know, and the top elites know this, man. That's why they, they've got their plans, mm. you know, the, bunk, the bunkers, they're trying to make an outer space retreat, you know, it's a space force. Right, space to, wars, yeah. Yeah, and all of that stuff. Okay, because Esau knows, man, and what's happening, the Lord is basically giving, you know, like before a boxing match, you have the, the what's it, the press interview? Right. Where they have the Press conference, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah, now, yeah. the Basically. angels are doing a face-off with the elites, man. <laughs> with the, these chariots, man. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, when, hey, when the 31st comes, man, you know, I'm going to knock you the hell out, man. They're face to face. Right. We see the chariots all the time, man. Yeah. You know, that's the Lord basically saying, the, the time that I have appointed is going down. Right? You know? To, to lay the, the it's like to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out. Yeah, man. Okay. You know. Any more, man? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the stars of heavens and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. Mm. The sun shall be darkened in in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And, and that, so like okay, that gets into actually the sun and the moon giving signs themselves because that's in the scriptures okay but ultimately when the when the light is blocked out that's talking about the the um the sun being blocked out by these missiles man you know by these mushroom clouds man okay somebody get me that in the scriptures where it says the day of the Lord is darkness and not light man you know it's gonna be a very very dark day man you know okay like like how it is right now you know this the sun's set so there's a little bit of light, but it's gonna get dark soon, man. Yeah. As soon as your house shack comes in the scene, and simultaneously the missiles are being fired, man, yeah. it's gonna be like an eclipse. Woo. Darkness, man. You know. Go on, bring it up. Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Mm. So what end is it for you? The day of the thought it's like the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, man, because you've got people out here. I mean it's, it's you can desire the day of the Lord, but it depends on what footing you're doing that man. Like we decide the day of the Lord man, okay? But we've been brought into this truth, so we under, we've we been given the signs man, okay? And we know that after the day of the Lord, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a kingdom, you know? And by doing this, we are potentially a part of that elect man, to be joined heirs with Yahweh, with Yahweh Shai. But then there's other people who decide the day of the Lord, you know? Oh Jesus come back, you know, and all of that stuff. And then you've got even Edomites, like that guy that was up here, you know? Him and his kind, they'll actually taunt you. Like, oh yeah, well, you've been saying he's coming back. Let him come then, I ain't seen him yet. That's desiring the day of the Lord. Okay, but what did it say? To what end is it for you? Okay, read it. You know? Like in Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Yeah, man, because there's two outcomes. You could either be saved, all right, or you're gonna be caught up in some sort of destruction, man. You know, all right. Go on. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, man. So when your house comes back, that's gonna be a dark day, man. Okay. Now, when it talks about the day of the Lord, it's also talking about a time period. Okay, Lead it, which is leading up to the, the main event of when your house actually cracks them, them clouds, man. You know, but that day of the Lord is a time period like Jacob's trouble, man. 
Okay? Where's that idea from? Um, once again, I will rise to shake the earth. So, uh, no, it's like I think it's an agai. One of them, look it up. Yeah, this is uh, Zephaniah 1 and 14. It says, The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry their bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of a day of clouds and thick darkness. Rush. You could um, get your own two ten. And guess what, man? Um, the end time started when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, man. You know. And that was what over two thousand years ago. Yeah. So how much more right now, man? We see we turn on the news, BBC News, CNN, RT News, you know, whatever, whatever rocks your boat, man. You know, okay. And we see nothing but the scriptures, man. Yeah. Okay. You know, you look at the Bloomberg, the financial forecast. You know, where the scriptures talk about um um the um grinding to a halt. You know, no more work, no more nothing in the cities. Yeah. All you got to do is turn on the financial channels, man. Oh. Everything is red and every, all the graphs are going down. Why is that, man? You know? Because Esau's, Esau's system is going, is out, man. You know? And it says at the start of that, what? The day of the Lord is near. It's near, man. You know? Especially in these times. It's crazy. We read that from the top again. Zephaniah 1 and 14, it says, the, day, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Mm. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry their bitterly. Yeah, man, so if you, you're a tough guy, I see us, we don't pretend to be tough guys, man. You know, what did the scripture say, man? By the grace of the Lord, I am what I am. You know, yeah. that's what we say, man. The Lord brought us into the truth and by his grace, we are what we are, man. If it weren't for this, <laughs> we might be thinking, yeah, I'm a tough guy, man. All right? I thought I was a tough guy, man, you know? Okay, but the day of the Lord, that stuff can't work, man, you know? All right? You need to be under the shadow of the Almighty, man. That's why it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Because you're not going to be dependent on your strength. No, you're going to be dependent on some kind of um, miraculous thing that's going to happen to you, you know? Come on, man. Verse, verse 15, it says, that day, is a day of wrath, mm. a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumper and the alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Yeah, because you're going to have some Edomites out here, man, that have a little something, which is really nothing, but, you know, they have a little possession. And as, as soon as all hell breaks loose, they're going to be like, oh, let's go to the safe, you know, let's get whatever we got, man. You know, that ain't going to profit you in those days, man. Because really, what, what have you got in the safe? You know, a couple hundred Gs, all right? You might have a gun or two, you know? You might have an emer what's it? emergency safety kit, all right? But what, what the hell could you have, man, that's going to make you escape the day of the Lord, man? You know? I think what we do next, man. Let me just say something. Oh, yeah, you can do that next week. When you think about what the brother's saying about the, 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 the money, using trying to use that as a defense of the day of the Lord, man, even the elites are going to have them bunkers that they spent millions and billions of dollars or pounds or whatever to try and uh, protect themselves in that day, man. And that's, that's not going to save them, man. There's nothing that can say that's a beautiful thing. You know, if you even look back in um, history, which is not too long ago, was it the Weimar crash in Germany? You know, they were saying little kids were kicking around, they were rolling up the dollars, not the dollars, so like, uh, whatever the currency was. What was that? Yeah, the Deutschmark. They're rolling it up with elastic um, bands and kicking them around as footballs, man. That was money back there in Germany, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? They show you that in certain film movies as well. You know, when it comes to them um, apocalyptic movies, they show people like burning the money, man, <laughs> for, for you know to light fires in them. Yeah, because yeah. it wasn't worth nothing. Yeah. And they're using like they'll be using um, you know food or water 
or even women as currency, man. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's going to be. Man. And what they were doing, <laughs> they were probably wiping their ass for that money too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, huh. even uh, we had this account of that guy Pablo Escobar, when he was on the run and he was in the wilderness, to keep him and his family warm, he would burn just massive piles of money. Ooh. Just to keep that's how much money he had, and that's how worthless it is. Let's think about it, man. They, they changed the, the five pound note and the ten pound note to some sort of plastic, man. And people think, oh, yeah, I'm paycheck. You know, that's not real money, man. You know, that's just a receipt to get by and by, man. I'm gonna give you this, okay, so you can give me that, you know. I think it's just ten, though. Yeah. It's not backed. It's, worth, it's already worthless. Yeah. Before they even. If, it's even crashed, it's already worthless. That's why it's called on certain riches. In, in economics, they call that quantitative easing, man. Yep. You know, which means we're going to print more, but there's nothing to back it, man. So you're just walking around with worthless pieces of plastic and paper, man. You know, so really, what's that going to do in the day of the Lord, man? You know, as the brother's saying, you're going to use that to wipe your behind, you know, burn fire out, to, as a food to burn fire, keep warm, you know. So there's nothing you can really do to escape the day of the Lord, man. I'll just bring out, like, just recently had the GCSE results coming out. Oh, all yeah, these people yeah. are celebrating, saying, oh yeah, we've got good grades and stuff, we're going to college, we're going to university. Yeah, yeah. All those degrees are going to be the same as the money. Right. Well, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't, can't. You know, and I, I, I I'm used to be around that education system, man. Esau really believes in his, in his university, man. You know, he's really all for this this getting a degree and masters and stuff man and you be in the library sometimes till 3 4 a.m and i'm thinking to myself man what the hell am i doing here like right, sometimes you know you, you kind of get caught up in it oh reading the books and you're thinking, well, you're thinking to yourself i know this ain't gonna help me you just close the shit and go home man go see it. <laughs> you know but east was up there and oh yeah and the, drawing graphs and stuff yeah man it's, like, it's the wisdom of the world man the scripture saying the wisdom of the world is foolish and the most powerful. So all that stuff that you're learning in the, in the universities and the colleges, that's just Esau's, um, that's what he determines to be a, a level of education. Yeah. You know, and um, what was I going to say, man? Um, oh shit, it's left my head. Yeah, Esau's university is nonsense, man. You know, that, that's, that's not going to do anything, that's the point. The, re the, the main reason why Esau allows, because back in the day, right, university was for the top elite, man. Now you've got everybody, you could probably go to, I don't know, man, this guy sitting down outside the station, he probably got a degree, yeah, He could go to university. Man. He might have a degree, man. There's actually, there's documentaries yeah, yeah, of yeah. homeless people yeah. that have degrees and masters, man. Bro. Well, you know, brother, if I may interject on that, man, because I remember years ago, back in like 2008, 2009, this is when YouTube was kind of getting, getting recognized at the time. And I used to watch a lot of videos about that. How you had a lot of these men. One guy had about multiple of different um, degrees and what have you. Homeless on the street, so to speak. And that was back then, 2000 or what, 8 or 9. So how much more now? That means that, like this brother's going into, that means that everything that makes up this world, it's all it's all vanity, it's all vain. Even, the, um, even, even those celebrities that have sold out mm -hmm. all along, that's gonna that's gonna be vanity as well because when society hits ground zero, that money is not gonna matter. All of that work that you put into going to university, that's not gonna matter when society breaks down, and that never mattered anyway. And plus, on top of that, who who's running these universities? Because they got people thinking that okay, if, I, if we go to university, then I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be if I can master university, then I got credentials. But no one's thinking who's controlling in their mind. No. It, Who's controlling these universities? And it, once you find it out, now you know. Now you know the agenda of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They they're pretty much programming you to believe in something that they want you to believe in for their new world order. Making you slaves. Man. Making you slaves. That's that's why you've got um you got the elite universities and you've got the standard ones because the right. people that you're paying thousands of you know tens of thousands of pounds to go to them elite universities. Yeah. You ain't learning the same thing. That's what, um, the yeah. on the street on the and I want to say this as well, and I want to let the brother speak. Because you got universities all over the world. Right? And guess what? Most likely they're teaching the same kind of sort of thing. So what's going to make your doctrine unusual? What makes your doctrine of higher standard when somebody else knows what you know? That means everyone's going to apply for the same jobs 
right? And that, and that means also because of that situation, if you're applying for that particular same job, most likely you're not going to get that job. Because the same people are applying for the same goddamn job, man. So even on that aspect, it's worthless. And on top of that, these jobs ain't even got the money to really um, employ these people anyway. Go on, man. Oh, like you go to a job interview, all right, and they say, well, what's your credentials? Oh, well, I went to, I got A-levels, I got a degree, and I got a master's. And they'll look at you like, okay, so what? Because they've heard it so many times. Yeah, everybody's got a degree now, man. It's worthless, man. So, Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, mm. but righteousness delivereth from death. Yeah, man, so it doesn't matter how many degrees you got, what kind of ed so-called education you have, what kind of house, car, you know, woman, land you got, whatever, man, that's not going to profit. What do you say? In, in what day? In the day of wrath. In the day of wrath, man, you know? And brother, like you said as well, I'm going I'm to say one more thing and I'm going to let you get on with it, right? But you said something that was also on point because if you got so many people that's got scholarships and degrees, then it's, it, it loses its value. It's just like money. If you keep printing the same dog on money, that money is going to lose its value. Quantitative easing, like you went into earlier before. So, it's just, it's, 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 it's all vanity, man. It's all vain. It's, it's, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth a damn thing, man. It's a waste of time. And it's, and it's also a waste of energy, too, man. Anyway, but you got Back in the day, back in the day, man, um, you know, if you went to university and you got your degrees, then you kind of like stood out because not many people could get, universe, get degrees in that. But if everybody's got a goddamn degree, then they don't stop for nothing, man. That's what I wanted to say on that anyway, bro. That's why we're, we're not concerned about, you know, progressing so far in Esau's world, man. You know, you know we're not about that, man. Ecclesiastes 19 and 19 it says the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life mm. and they that do th do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality oh, that's a good scripture because oh that's beautiful man because um I remember back in school I, I did um philosophy and ethics at A level right mm. and that's how you know these um so-called these not so-called they were kind of good guys man on point like Aristotle and um Oh, what's it in Plato and all these guys, these Greek um, philosophers, they were actually Israelites that were caught up in that um, Hellenism, man, you know, because they, they had such a, a, a consciousness of the Most High, but it wasn't according to wisdom, it wasn't according to knowledge, you know. They were zealous. Yeah, they were zealous, but not according to uh, the truth, man, you know. And I believe Aristotle said that there's different levels of knowledge, man. I can't remember right about it. Yeah, and I can't remember exactly what he which order he put it in, I mean not the order but the names for them but basically what was the highest level? He said the knowledge of the most high being and what was toward the, the one before the bottom? Education as in like uh, jobs and being able to function in society man. so when it comes to the levels of knowledge like this scripture says man what is it what? The most high man that's the highest level of knowledge man your so called scholars that's been studying I don't know a leaf for 45 years and he's got PhD, doctorate, master's degree and old white guy with grey hair and oh yeah I'm a philosopher and right. we're smarter than that man. That's right. That's right. Why? Because we've got the, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding man. Right. Read that again. Ecclesiasticus 19 and 19 it says the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Yeah so this this Bible is starting with the law, touch the commandments and the rest therein. All right. That's the doctrine of life, man. That's the highest mm -hmm. level of knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know? You see, like, Abraham, Esau will get caught up over mathematics, man. Oh, a statistician and, um, uh, yeah, well, you know, if you didn't get a grade B and above, you can't do A-levels and you can't do this and, uh, you know, maths and science, man. Mathematics was a game for Abraham, man. Do the research, man. Our forefather Abraham, they used to do mathematics to, for fun, man. Okay? The, the knowledge of the of the heavens, man. You know? The, the stars, the moon and the sun. Okay? Actually, they had machines back then. It's in their bucket for, man. You know? And they also had schools and colleges back then as well. Can't. You know? Even, and the, the, the highest school was the temple, man. You know? 
the, the House of Scrolls, man. You know? We've actually gone backwards, man. Society has gone backwards from what it used to be. But Esau thinks he's so high and mighty and great, man. I was going to say, because um, that's the, that, is the, that is the real problem. Everyone's um, believing in Esau's um, knowledge. So it's going to come a time when they're going to realise that all this bullshit about evolution and the Big Bang and all that other shit that he comes out with, it's all lies, man. The Darwinism shit. And, 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 and your Dar uh, Darwinism, Darwinism and all that stuff. That's, that's going to come to light, that's all bullshit. Man. And speaking of Darwinism, Darwinism actually rejected his philosophy. Here is it, you've got a man that's telling yeah. the world that they know how this earth was created. Yeah. Like they were there, you know what I'm saying? Like they know how the universe was created, man. There's only, that, there's only one truth in that, and it's the truth of the Bible. It tells you how it was created in the Bible. It's simple as that. You see, what, the thing with Esau, man, being in the workplace and you study Esau, Esau will confidently talk bullshit, but he believes in it. He knows He knows that he's lying, man. Because I battle them. I battle them sometimes at work because they tell me about all their evolution and shit. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, I say to them, look, look, if you can explain to me that doctrine that you're, I don't want you to read it from but I want you to explain it under, to me under the terms that you understand it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. None of them can understand it. They can't tell you. Because they're just, what they're doing is regurgitating exactly. some bullshit that some scientist has told them already. They're just swallowing everything up that this man is telling them. And when you break it down, that's really the doctrine of this world, the society. So in order for you to believe, in order, if you disbelieve in Darwinism, then you're, you, you better watch yourself, man. No? That's crazy. That's their doctrine. Now verse 20, it says, The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omni omnipotency. This is Ecclesiasticus 19 and 20, it says, The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Yeah, man, so the knowledge of the Lord, fear in him, man, okay? That includes yeah, being reverent, okay? Respecting, seeking. Understanding that this is the most high, all right? That's the beginning of all wisdom, man. That's the highest level of wisdom, man. Okay, go on. It says, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law. See, in all wisdom is the performance of the law, man, you know? And that's another thing that proves these um, Amalekites aren't the real Israelites, man. Okay, because here they, they, they pride themselves in the, the Torah, the Torah, yeah? you know. I, I give it to them, you know. The Lord kind of gave them, you know, some sort of knowledge of how to keep some stuff, man. You look at them, a Malachite. I, I went up in a synagogue up in, um, this years ago, up in um, North London, my area, Stamford Hill, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got some badass Torahs in there, man. You know, with the, the whole cabinet thing, you know. But then, if the Torah, that shows they don't understand it. Because if you actually understood it, why would you have the Talmud? Why would you have the Zohar? Okay, why would you have all these other little bullshit books? And it, when you look at um, these Judea, um, Judaism and their, their whole thing, man, it's all to do with their books, man. Nothing to do with the law. That proves that they're the real Israelites, man. Okay, but in this book, man, starting with the laws, that's the commandments. That's the highest level of wisdom, man. All wisdom's in that, man. Okay. Esau talking about, oh yeah, well, um, uh, due to science and the, the discovery of an or, of a microorganism, we, uh, we understood hygiene. No, you didn't. The law talks about hygiene, okay? Oh yeah, well, due to uh, human psychology and the study of man, we've now come up with, um, we've now come up with laws for society. But your laws for, so uh, for society came from this Bible, man. you know? Okay? Oh yeah, um, even down to carrying judgment out, okay, in the daytime because you're more, you're thinking more clearly. The Bible says, "Judge no man if the sun's not above your head." So that all wisdom is in the law, man. You know, you can't escape it, man. If there was more to give, <laughs> then the Lord wouldn't have. Well, Moses was up there with um, Yahweh for 40 days and 40 nights, man. Okay, so he, the Lord actually, I did the video on that last week, man. He was um, getting the mysteries, man. Okay, and under, the Lord was breaking it down to him, man. So the Lord gave a complete thing, man. That's why it governs all wisdom comes from that, man. Exactly. Yeah. Straight from the horse's mouth, as they say. Um, yeah, let me just finish it. It says, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law, and the knowledge of his omnipotency. There you go, man. So, 
uh, Revelation 22 and 18. For I testify unto every man that hear of the words of prophecy, prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written there within this book. Yeah, that's why that's why Esau's going down. Man, start with the house of Ammonite, man. Okay, because if you if you add onto the book, man, that's that you got issues there now, man. You know. All right. You're playing with fire. You man. can't be doing that, man. This this Bible be Esau, man. You know. Go W. H. Smith or whatever. I'll buy the Bible for fifteen pounds and stuff. They just think it's a regular book, man. Okay. You can't be adding stuff, man, and taking stuff away. Like certain versions, man. Where uh, is it the NIV? With uh, Revelation 13 and 9, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into it. They change it the They're saying, if you go, he who goes will go. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> the hell, man. There's some translations that say, he that walks into captivity shall go into captivity. Like we all decided to just, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, hey guys, let's just go into captivity, yeah. man. Come on, man. To like it. Just to prove that doesn't make sense, the next bit of that verse says, he that killeth for the sword shall be killed by the sword. Yeah, right, so, what does those two have to have in common? And what did Yahweh Shai say, man? Not one jot nor one tittle shall be in no wise changed until all be fulfilled, man. Yeah. So this book ain't just, you know like when you watch a movie, right? And you don't like the way it ends, man. Mm. And it's like, oh man, like that pissed me off because I don't like that, man. You can't do this with the Bible, man. Oh, I don't like this bit, so if I could rewrite it, then I'll change it. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you, you can't even do that with a movie. Exa so exactly. why are you doing it with a screen? Exactly, man. There was a series the other day, um, Game of Thrones, man. Social media was taken over by that. People crying and people pissed off and angry, having fights because they didn't like the way Game of Thrones ended. Mm -hmm. That's the game. <laughs> That's the game, man. We're talking about the highest game, man. <laughs> that the most has created, man. Which is the highest game, then? Oh, that, well, the highest game is, is yeah. uh, the prophecies that's written in the script in the Bible. Wait, wait, this Bible, your Bible or your Bible? It's all the same thing. Huh? The King James Bible. Who's God then? God then? Oh, Who's God then? Who's God? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> what, that's what, being out there, being <laughs> in that moment. Yeah, no, God. no, man, I'm, I'm here, I'm just walking right, well, by, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, gonna, well, I'm gonna listen right, to you, I'm gonna listen to you all day long. I love it, B, I love to speak to you all. Alright, mm -hmm. fair so enough. So it goes like, everybody like to uh, give their own opinion about everything. Okay. Everybody's every got their own opinion, haven't they? Alright. So who's, we'll go, we'll go who's right and who's wrong then? Alright, well, the, the, the Most High, who you call God, alright, he dwells in it. No, I ain't gonna God, me, I don't believe in it, B. You like, don't believe so. in it? Oh, there's no point spending it to you, man. No, no, yeah, yeah, please, if you don't mind. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, get that, get that now, get that now. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know, actually, who to believe in, how actually God is, to be fair. All right, David. That's why I don't know who God is, Okay, so guess what? Very, very soon, very, very soon, the Most is going to have a meeting with you, man. With me? Yeah, with you. Where's he coming back to Yorkshire? Psalms, 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 Psalms 14 and 1. He's coming to Yorkshire for a meeting with me. I said in his heart, there is no God. Yeah, man, so if you don't believe in I don't God. believe in God. Right, but here what I'm I saying. I don't believe, and I do believe in it because... Oh, so you're on the fence. Because, all you're not going to do Go on up, go on. David! 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 I could answer you. I, I told you, I gave you one answer. God's going to show himself to you very soon, man. That's all, what, 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 that's all you need to know. What, 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 Matthew 5, 37. <laughs> but let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. Exactly. For whatsoever, it's like it, for whatsoever is more than these come off of evil. So all this going back what, and forth with technicalities, I'm, I'm on the fence and all that no, stuff. No, no, Listen, man, that's, that's, we're not with that, man. It's either yes, no, be yes, and no, be no, man. I gave you a straight answer. The Most High is going to make himself known to you very soon. And that's, yeah. all, that's all we got tell to Tell you your problem, mate. I'll, okay. tell, I'll tell you your problem, too. Yeah. What, what, what I see from an outsider, and I think, yes, I'll ah, ah, take me hat off to you. What you're doing here, you stand on the station and you put your, your thing away. And I, I'm one of them, Listen, oh, 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 look at Bible and think, wedding, you know, and I like me, I like me too. Proverbs 13 and 13. Whosoever despiseth the word shall be destroyed. That's right! Exactly. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Yeah, yeah. It's all about keeping. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep listen. I bet it's my lap. He's I bet it's my lap. No, 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 Ian. This lad here, lad, 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 l
I know what I know. I, I face my I face my kids up yeah. and I, I want them to believe in, in that sort of thing. I think it's a good thing. Okay. But I'll tell you what, yeah. you're not getting any help off the media yeah. because okay, they're all well, leaning towards Islam. Okay, well, I'm Muslim. 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 I'